Mark. My name is Mark Hoxson. Um, I'm 22 years old. I'm currently a student, studying to be a counselor, and that's me. Let's see, me, I always grew up knowing there was a God. Just never really had a passion or a drive to chase after him. Just had a certain type of respect for him. Just, okay, he, he's God. There's nothing really to it, you know? We, some people follow him, some people don't, and I just kind of wanted to live the life I wanted to live. I didn't like church. I, I didn't like anything about the church. I didn't like the singing, I didn't like the preaching. It was so boring to me. I didn't, I just said, okay, there's a God, that's it, that's it, that's all there is to it. And I just, I just lived my life. That's pretty all my childhood, just living like that. And it wasn't, I mean, God wasn't really important to me. He wasn't the main focus in my life. All I wanted to do was have fun, just chase girls, um, occasionally do drugs, be with my friends. That was, that was fun to me. God was just some, just some figure that didn't really mean to me anything. And um, I remember telling my mom this, Mom, what if I go to the restroom right now and cut myself and kill myself? What would you do? And I remember her just plainly saying, do what you have to do. And I remember just going to the restroom that night and I just got the blade. And I just remember just everything that was going on with my life. I just remember all the anger and all the hate and all the pain I felt. I just, just didn't want to do it anymore. Just deal with it anymore. And I get this blade and I'm looking right at it and I'm like, all right, you're the cure. This is what I'm gonna do. And I go to my arm and I said, this is for the anger. This is for the pain and this is for the sadness. And there's one more that was gonna be, this is to end it all. Feeling this press just stop right here, it's, it's pointless. And the fact that it hurted too much, I didn't want to keep on going anymore. And I just, just weeks went by, I was hiding and I was just ashamed myself. But in front of everyone, I was smiling, I wore long sleeves. And I was just this cool guy, just, just wanted to have fun still. But deep down inside, I just still wanted more. I just didn't, I felt lost. A few years passed and then all of a sudden this bridge thing pops up and I'm like all right let me try it out I guess I'm gonna give it a go I mean what else is new and I remember coming to the place just just the place itself I wasn't even in the building I was just pulling up to the to the outside to the streets and I was just I was just looking at myself like you know what I'm gonna try it I'm gonna give it a go you know I'm gonna try something new and I opened my heart and I remember coming to the place and I opened my heart and I'm like, all right, this is, I'm gonna try this. And then I just felt this whole different, this holiness, this like this fulfillment that I've been longing for, this love, this, all the pain just went away in one second. It just went completely away. And everything that I've asked for since I was a child finally came too. And I remember going back home and I was just, all right, God, I don't want this, just, I don't want what you've done for me to just disappear. I don't want it to just go away. Like, God, there's more. And then I get on my knees and I just, I say, God, please. I don't want to live life anymore. I don't want to be the same anymore. I'm tired, I just can't go on anymore. If you can just please come into my life. And I'm on my knees and I bow down. I'm just like this, just praying like this as much as I can. And then I, I just feel this beautiful, amazing hand touch me right here on my left shoulder and I just go down and I just felt free. The bridge, what it is, it's, it's more than just a building, it's more than just people, it's more than dramas. The bridge is, that's like coming home to me, you know, it's just, it's arm wide, arms wide open, just welcoming back and I'm never going to let it go. bridge to me is, is love.